welcome to In Your Face. Today I have a couple of guests with me. We're going to be talking about how important is forgiveness. Right here to my to my left, is that my left? Yes, is Michelle is um, Doris Wells and Michelle Hubbard, and we're going to be talking about. Welcome, ladies. I'm sorry. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Well, Fun I'm, to be here with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys are here with us on in your face. We're, we're talking about the importance of unforgiveness and how important is forgiveness and how does it affect your health and so mm -hmm. forth, ladies. So tell us what what do you think about um, forgiveness? What are your views on forgiveness? Well, for me, um, I think it's important to forgive because if you don't forgive and you're holding on to grudges and things uh -huh. like that, it's not hurting the other person. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Yes, it's, we did. it's actually hurting yourself. And um, God forgives us, so we need to learn to forgive each other. And it's a hard thing to do, but it is important. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Um, I think that the way it can show up in our body is churning stomachs when someone comes around that we, oh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. have some unfinished noise going on about. Um, I think what comes up for me around forgiveness is being completely honest um, about how we're feeling. Were we angry? Did whatever we want to forgive that happened mm -hmm. made us sad? Just to get that out in the open and clear it away so again we're not carrying maybe that around right. in our body or even in the relationship mm -hmm. because it really is it really honest if we don't admit that you know that really that really hurt me that, that's what true, happened. Right. That's true. Now Doris you just stated you saying that it's really hard to, uh, to forgive someone. How do you get past that? How do you work? How would you say you will work through that? Mm. Well, first of all, I, I, I'm saying it's hard because I've experienced it myself. Okay. I mean, I'm being honest about the fact that it's hard for me okay. to forgive sometimes when I really, this person does the same thing over and over and over again, but they're doing it over and going on their way and I'm like just holding on to it. So mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do in my own personal life is learn to pray about it and to let it okay. go and to really let it go and like Michelle said to really be honest about it how you right. felt or why you and the person may not even realize that, that they've they, done something to hurt you or upset you or whatever so um, I think you just have to work at it you have to pray about it and be sincere and just work at letting it go and be truly forgiving okay well Michelle how would you say how important is prayer um, and helping along in this process of well, forgiveness yeah I'm uh I'm a very spiritual person, okay. I'm a person of faith, so prayer is like always going on for me and I, I would consider um, it to almost be we're not using all that we are and all mm -hmm. that we have okay. you know, at our disposal if we don't turn to prayer mm -hmm. to help us in something that you know, like Doris you know, so beautifully explained can be a tricky thing to do to forgive someone. Yes, yes. Yeah, Especially like someone we see in such a self-destructive pattern mm -hmm. maybe or you, they say they want to make amends, but their behavior says, right. I don't really care. So would that say like there's something that's going on in their life, why they're doing all this damaging mm -hmm. behavior to others and wanting to hurting others? And do you think they really recognize that they are hurting other people? You know, individual by individual, who knows? Right. But exactly. I think that does come up. You mm -hmm. know, I think that, um, you know, people are, have gone through an awful lot of experiences mm -hmm. before they come in front of us and we may not know what exactly, all of them were and right. what their reaction to all of them was mm -hmm. so maybe that's where prayer will come in and open our eyes and our heart a little bit more to right. say um, look I'm really to give you one more chance <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> but I want you to know that this either hurt or ticked me off mm -hmm. or whatever right. and um, you I know think I, that's where um, yeah. When I think when you were just saying it, was just it was just popped into my head where I think that's why we're um, God wants us to pray for our, our enemies mm -hmm. and so because He knows exactly what they're what they're going through or right. what's their history. When we don't, all we know is that okay, what they're saying is hurting us. What they're doing to us is hurting us. But then God knows that stuff needs to be cleared up out of them. And I'm not sure they're really even enemies because you know yeah. we're all wounded children yeah. to that's true. some extent. Yeah. So. Yes. If their wounds aren't necessarily in alignment in the mm -hmm. path we want to go, that's okay. We wish them well, but um, you know they're not really fighting us. They're fighting their own demons. That's I think, true. I like that you said that. Michelle yeah. corrected me. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the other thing that you said about praying for your enemy, that's not easy either. No, that's difficult. That's <laughs> it, difficult. It almost comes in the same line of forgiving because it's, it's like, okay, this person is... Uh, whatever it is about them, they may right. not, they may not even realize that they've 
done something to hurt you or harm you, or they maybe they've done something to somebody else that you don't like. But praying for them and forgiving them, it's necessary, That's but true. it's not easy. No, we it's, have to ask it's, God it's to not. help us. Oh, absolutely. Get, you know, yeah, because I point. say in the minute, I'm like, Jesus, help. <laughs> And I'm like, Lord, you know that's not right, but yeah. Lord, you have to help me so I can help them. <laughs> That, that's just being real. Yeah, and that's that's why earlier when we were saying, I think that the forgiveness is, and the prayer, it's for us. It's to make yes. us grow and make us to be stronger so that we can be better people for, because like they say, sometimes it might be the only Bible that somebody reads because they pay attention to your actions right. and your yes. deeds and your behavior. That is so true. But today we're talking about In Your Praise. We're talking about forgiveness, and we'll be right back after these messages. Not yet. <laughs> you just got them out the chair. We're still <laughs> There's a lot of messages coming through today. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, keep it going. Oh, keep okay. it going? Well, welcome back to In Your Face. Today we're talking about unforgiveness and how, un how un I'm sorry, how unforgiveness can be more damaging to you than more than what you think. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with my guests, Doris Wells and Michelle Hubbard. Ladies, I'm really enjoying this topic. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we are too. So yeah. tell me, what do you think, how do you figure that um, unforgiveness, can, un unforgiveness, I'm just stumbling on my words today. What is wrong with me? I don't have no idea. It's the heat. How, is, is, it the, is that what and it is? And we forgive you. Yeah, and we thank and you. And I pray for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When we're talking about how unforgiveness, how can it affect your health, ladies? What, mm -hmm. what do you think? You think it, have you ever experienced or know anyone where it has actually affected their health? I can't say that I know someone else that affected their health. I think I can only speak for myself, but okay. I, I think you do feel um, a little guilty and unhealthy in a way because of the fact that you're holding on, you're yes. holding on to this. Mm -hmm. So I think it does have an effect. And plus, I think if you're trying to connect with um, God, yes, all that stuff is right there in between. So you have to say, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Yes. So I can move on. Yes. First, yeah, you, you're right, Michelle. Who, what would you say? Yeah, I totally agree with what Doris said. And for me, I notice it comes up in my belly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll feel like a churning in there. Mm -hmm. I, I've had a, um, a, a friend that I've been needing to make a, a, a like a 10 second sweaty conversation with, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> um, I like that term, 10 minute <laughs> sweaty conversation with. <laughs> um, around uh, the way she's been showing up. Mm -hmm. um, including in public and okay. um, love her hate the behavior mm -hmm. yes. and can't really be with it anymore mm -hmm. oh, wow. um, and it took it's taken me maybe a couple of months to have this conversation mm -hmm. and the avoiding of it has been you know shoulders tense sarcastic comments mm -hmm. you know come out my mouth but the side of it <laughs> <laughs> look, look at Michelle <laughs> and this person is kind of you know not you know kind of out of it which is mm. the problem mm -hmm. so um having had the conversation you know it's okay with me if this mm -hmm. is how you want to live your mm -hmm. life that's mm -hmm. not who i want to be with mm -hmm. and it, it, it also comes back to that's not who i see myself mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. and um just kind of forgiving the both of us and letting it go all of a sudden digestion mm -hmm. has been way easier mm. yeah you know posture a little bit looser interesting and feels like a burden's been lifted huh? exactly yeah right wow. so i i think it does show up mm. in our bodies right um, you're not just in this that. yeah mm -hmm. not just in this outside uh, right. person or experience right because I, I always say it's like a fire that consumes mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. with inside mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. because that is true i have experienced that before myself because um when i was young i was a teenage mom i mm -hmm. had my first son when i was 18 mm -hmm. and i kind of um i was always a church girl mm -hmm. And uh, he was, the, as they call the bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the church girl ended up with the bad boy, mm -hmm. but it happened. As I call myself, I'm just gonna be real. I'm yeah. fertile myrtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, when you're young, you know, you get curious about, you know, yeah. sex and so forth. That's mm -hmm. the first time try out. Here I go, mm -hmm. fertile myrtle. And so, and I blamed him. Mm -hmm. And I blamed him for, oh my God, I would say like maybe like 20 years, I was angry at him because I feel, feel like he used me. He mm. knew what he wanted to do. Not taking any responsibility for myself. It right. takes two to tango. Yeah. Right. And so, like you said, feeling that, and I feel like I couldn't move on. I felt like I was stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as I released that, wow. as soon as I, everything yeah. lifted. 
-hmm. I was able to call him. He was able to call me and say, you know what, Ty, I'm sorry. I was young. I was a young guy, and I was just out to do what right. I wanted to do. And we were able to get past that. Wow. And now we are friends today. Yeah. So I feel like that's a really big gift for your mm -hmm. son as well, that you were able to yes. do that. Yeah. Yes, it, it was. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's amazing about that unforgiveness. Like you said, that knot mm -hmm. that's, that's here and in, in your shoulders feeling so tense. And people don't realize that that's causing stress. Right. That can cause ulcer. Mm -hmm. You having a bleeding ulcer can turn to a bleeding ulcer, which is not healthy for you in terms you could die. Right. So we have to understand that unforgiveness that and if you call yourself, you know, you have a spiritual relationship with, you know, with your with your heavenly father. That's not God's behavior mm -hmm. because God wants us to forgive. Because if right. you're asking for forgiveness, he's not going to forgive you because you haven't right. forgive. So how can he forgive if you haven't, you know, done that yourself? Can I ask you a question? Sure, go it just, ahead. It just popped in my mind. So in talking about forgiveness, do we go to this person and say something or do, how do you actually do it? This is funny. I'm the whole she asking me a question, <laughs> but I'll answer her question. <laughs> you know, me personally, I like to go to the person, mm -hmm. but if the person is not receiving it, I will sit up here, I write it down. Okay. Writing stuff out because you're basically you're still bringing it out. Yeah. You know, and that oh my God, that you know I I do um, coaching, and I have used that practice, and people actually have been healed from that. Because mm -hmm. that's like saying if somebody had um, raped you, and you can't speak to the person, write all the hurt, all the pain, what you did to me, how mm -hmm. I feel, how you made me feel, everything. Write all those feelings mm -hmm. out, and if you fold it up and you bury it and throw it away, but that stuff is released from it's you. Out. All yeah. that frustration inside is out. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, if you can't speak to the person, write it out. Yeah, write it to that person and watch what it do. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Um, my former husband passed away a couple of months ago mm -hmm. and prior to my leaving him he'd been going into uh, dementia mm -hmm. so there was an aspect of honesty that I withheld I chose to withhold mm -hmm. uh, because I didn't think uh, he was present enough whole enough to mm -hmm. be able to understand or? understand yeah. it would hurt him for whatever reasons I didn't and then he was gone and so I did exactly what you said. I wrote him this letter and mm -hmm. I said, you know, um, I left and these are, mm -hmm. why? This mm -hmm. is why, you know, this is how I interpreted your actions, your words, your behavior. Right. And here's some things that I could have done better or different. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I was in tears when I finished writing it. I forgive you for what you did. There you go. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to assume that wherever you are now, you're forgiving me, and you know, now some right. way we'll find a way. I believe we can even still have, you know, a, mm -hmm. a new kind of a relationship or friendship. But mm -hmm. that's um, awesome. I don't think that you necessarily have to, you know, do the directly this, the, speak the, to them the directly. Mm -hmm. And a rule of thumb that I was taught is, um, you choose to reveal to someone who you want to get closer to because that mm -hmm. level of honesty is a gift. Yes. And if there's someone that you really don't want to then be, you know, willing to forgive mm -hmm. them and let them go. Right. But if you want to try and continue a relationship, maybe yeah. then would be the yeah. time for the mm -hmm. face to face. Mm -hmm. Well, Doris, mm -hmm. did you get your question answered? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, forgiveness is, is just powerful in itself. Mm -hmm. And that release um, by writing the letters, as mm -hmm. you said, too, is, is so important. It's key. I mean, it, it, it really, it truly, honestly helps. I will really suggest mm -hmm. that if you can't write it all out. Yeah. Because you're still releasing. That's just like when we confess to Jesus, you know. We're, we're confessing. We're speaking it out. Right. You know? I guess it could be risky, too, approaching someone because you don't know how they're yeah, how they're gonna re how receive. they're gonna receive mm -hmm. what you're saying. Your intentions might be good, right? But m maybe you haven't, and they may not be ready, right? And maybe they don't. And again, I think we said this, or they don't necessarily know that they've done something. Maybe that, or they don't see they're wrong in it. Yeah, sometimes so people don't see they're wrong. Mm -hmm. You know. And I think it's important for us to be honest mm -hmm. about at you least what's honest. true for us. Right. Right. So if we're gonna be in front of someone to admit, you know. Mm -hmm. I felt this way mm -hmm. when we had this experience together. 
Right. right. And if we don't feel like being that way mm-hmm. with that person, then that may be a way of saying, I don't even want to be in your company That's at true. all anyway. And That's true. Uh, maybe, maybe we need to be doing the forgiving of ourselves for having that feeling of not wanting to be around them anymore. Right. That's true. And like you said, also accepting responsibility is a huge part of mm-hmm. it too. You have yeah. to accept your role. And rather, if it was a small role or medium role or large role, we have to accept responsibility. What part did we play in this? Right. And I think we also have to be able to go to someone, if you know you've maybe said or done something that may have offended or hurt it, hurt someone, to go in yourself and say, you know, I felt like I did X, Y, Z. I'm very sorry. Would you please forgive me? I think we, oh, we yes. have to be able to. Absolutely. It would be mm-hmm. a bigger mm-hmm. person. And sometimes yeah. that, that it, it takes, I mean, sometimes it's hard to do that for some people, mm-hmm. to be that bigger person, because it's that pride. Mm-hmm. Now now we're stepping into pride. When you have that pride, like, oh, I'm not going to say anything first. That person, they need to come to me mm-hmm. and say something to me. Sometimes we have to humble ourselves, right. you know, and just like, hey, suck it up and just go to that person and, and go, you know, and try to squash it, right. you know? But what a beautiful way of illustrating that we must have forgiven ourselves, right. at least in some way, mm. to be able to show up as being so honest of, you know, I did this wrong to you, I feel, and mm-hmm. I want to apologize for you. Right. But for us to even be able to show up that way, there must have been something inside of us that we've been able to forgive and already kind of start mm-hmm. that cycle Absolutely. going. Right. Maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. That, that is so mm. true. I'm loving this discussion. I think a lot mm. of people out there they are being held back from bondages of the past. Oh. Mm-hmm. And we really need to learn how to release so we can just move on and have a future. Right. That, that's what it's all about. Forgiveness is about so you can have a future. Mm-hmm. Like Doris said before, the other person is moving ahead. It's you that's stuck. And if you have, right. if there's something that God has plans for you, but you can't really get to it because you're sitting here, you're stuck with something, something, unforgiveness right. in your heart. And we just have to learn to move on so, so you can have a better future for yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. I agree. You guys, you guys agree with me? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that in the contract you signed? <laughs> that you have to agree with everything Tanya says? <laughs> that, was, that was the part where we, we had to do it in blood, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, they had to do that. You better agree with Tanya. This is her show. <laughs> and don't ask her questions. <laughs> she is the host. <laughs> yeah, don't ask Tanya questions. <laughs> but it's okay. This is this is great. I mean, I love I love sitting around talking about it. It's just like we're having a conversation. We're sitting in our home. We just don't have coffee or tea or wine. Water. <laughs> or wine. <laughs> That was supposed to be in the contract, Michelle. You missed oh, that. Oh, yes, you did. What happened? <laughs> See, look, I need this. You want me to be on the show? This is what I need. Okay? <laughs> well, this is great. I you think know. there's cookies over there. Oh, I think there are. Oh, okay. <laughs> After the snicker doodles. Michelle, we'll get, we'll, get, we'll get Michelle and Doris a cookie. <laughs> we'll make them happy. But uh, we're talking about unforgiveness and the effects of it. And so, because we want you to have a better life in your life and and that's what we're talking Mm -hmm. about basically because I mean I want to see everybody happy Mm -hmm. I want to see growth in people and and that's what in your face is all about it's all about inspiring uplifting to be a better life we already have so much negative can we just get rid of some of this negative and bring back some of this positive and have people it's like now think about it people walk in the street they pass you they don't even smile Mm -hmm. everybody looks angry Mm -hmm. what's wrong with these people (laughs) They look That's so true. angry. Mm. No, I mean, I, so you know, you know, you just you remember back before in the days when you pass somebody, you would give a little grin, yeah. a little smile. You do it, they don't, they don't reciprocate it back. Mm-hmm. They just like, yeah, I think these I people think. scare me. <laughs> these people really don't. Y'all, y'all scare me. That's not good. You know, it's like they're becoming like robots. Mm-hmm. Everybody's into the technology. They usually got their, yeah. their phone in their hand or something's going on. You know, they have like such busy lives that we don't communicate talk anymore exactly. everybody's all you know people come back <laughs> come back come back to reality yeah. okay i mean they got their kids on these on these um, mm-hmm. technologies and the oh, kids they're raised are, on it oh yeah. my gosh i mean you got little kids they know how to work this thing better than me yeah they oh, do a little yeah. my little four-year-old um She's a playground daughter, but mm-hmm. she takes my phone and she's got her own tablet and she just downloads stuff. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I can't. Come on. <laughs> Get back. Come, yeah. back. Come back. But you know, we're we're talking about unforgiveness mm-hmm. and, and and the effects of unforgiveness, and and we all know how important it is mm-hmm. to forgive and to let go. We we'll say, well, I'm not gonna forget that person. You don't know what that person did to me. <laughs> 
You know, I remember that was a Medea movie. I think when Medea goes to jail. Yeah. And she was like, "You did you see that movie? Mm-hmm. Did you see that movie?" Mm-hmm. And then she said, "Well, you don't know what he did to me. He did it. Look, girl, look, he going on. You <laughs> need to sit up here <laughs> and move on with your life and forgive, because he's like, you give that person the power when you don't let it go. You right. giving that person power exactly. over your life because you said like you're angry. <laughs> that person got power over you. When you release that anger, that person has no more power. Right." You don't want to give somebody the power over mm-hmm. you. I understand what Uncle Bubba did to you. Okay? We understand that he he hurted you. But don't keep letting what Uncle Bubba did affect you your whole entire, entire life. life. That is making your, your life decisions mm-hmm. for you. You're getting into trouble because of that. Now you're on drugs because of that. You're on you're having an alcohol problem because of that. Mm-hmm. All these things, you're you're having babies out of wedlock because mm-hmm. of that. You're going through different types of men every single day of the week because of that. All because of that unforgiveness, mm-hmm. because of what somebody else did to you. Instead of you grabbing your own life back, you then gave away your life. And that's what we have to stop doing. We have to realize there's always a root right. to a problem. We have to figure out why, because we're not made to be, especially I say to women, women are not genetically made to be sleeping around the way they do mm-hmm. when you're so loose and being promiscuous. We are nurturers. Okay, nurturers. Right. We are not made to sit here and sleep with Steve, Adam, Joe, Jake, Isaac. Mm-hmm. It's like you got to wonder why do I have so many men in my bed? What is really going on? What is the story? Right. What is going on? We need to figure that out. And once you figure that out and sit back and say, you know what? This is not healthy. This is unhealthy. You know, and then we can start to start to heal. We can start taking the process and realize, do we have some unforgiveness in our heart? Mm -hmm. What is really going on? What is my story? Does that make any sense, ladies? Mm. Yes, it does. Mm. Y'all not saying that. Y'all let me do all the talking. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm feeling like, too, um, there's something inside of us that Mm. we need to forgive Mm. to be choosing this kind of behavior. Yes. And. Gosh, we couldn't have done anything that bad. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. And Uncle Bubba and, and what he did on top of it and, and how we feel about what had happened that we can't forgive ourselves for. Um, what what if we just washed it all oh, away right. and started right. clean? It's, and exactly. I think forgiveness is the way to do that. It is. Right. I, I feel that, Michelle, that is key. It is so key. There's mm-hmm. something going on. There's some unforgiveness there. And sometimes people, we judge. And, and you know, like I said, as we get into more our spirituality and our connection, we don't we let go of that judging. When we see somebody on the street, well, that, they must have did this and that. There's a story behind there. Mm-hmm. There's a root behind there. Exactly. And it's not our job to judge anyone. That is God because God knows exactly what has happened and transpired in that person's mm-hmm. life. Yeah, and you know, sometimes there might be something that's just missing yes. in that person's life where they... Something's been broken. Yeah, that they need that uh, constant companionship or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it to make them feel better. You About know? themselves right. or feel wanted mm-hmm. or feel loved. You know, there's a missing link. Mm-hmm. Something has happened there because, like I said, it's not normal. Mm-hmm. It's not normal behavior for you to have so many people in and out of your life, in and out of your bed. And like I said, you're if you're doing, have narcotics and stuff like that, you know, what are you mm-hmm. trying to, a lot of times when people drink alcohol, when you're abusing alcohol mm-hmm. like that, there's, what are you trying to cover up? Right. What What's the pain? Where's that pain coming from? Right. You know, and it's just such a, it's sad. And mm-hmm. it just makes me want to help people, you it's know. And you thing. are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the thank, conversations thank, thank you have mm-hmm. are, yeah, I'm thank, sure, mm-hmm. very thank helpful. Thank God for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank God for that. I think, I thank God for uh, giving me such a platform mm-hmm. that I can use my voice and whatever um, the spirit puts in me to bring out of right. me the power mm-hmm. that it helps many, many people and that it changes their lives for the better. Hopefully they will, they will take a look at themselves mm-hmm. and see and start to think and, and rethink and start to redo things over, you know, make a directional change in mm-hmm. our lives. That's what um, In Your Face is all yeah. about. And I'm yeah. just, I just thank God for, for using me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have a great message. You always have. <laughs> Oh, that's so mm-hmm. sweet, ladies. But we're going to take a break, and we're going to be right back. I'm here with Doris Wells and Michelle Hubbard, and these are my ladies today. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back. We're still here talking about unforgiveness and how it affects you. So, ladies, what else? 
<laughs> Look at Doris. <laughs> Doris, like, no, but seriously, um, un unforgiveness. It is, it is something. I think it is. Um, is, is, is very is very very important and like I was speaking earlier how how even in my life how mm -hmm. unforgiveness how it kind of you know, stabbed me but I, I got past it thank God and um, how it really helped me because I had to say I'm sorry mm -hmm. whatever part I played in it I had to sit up here and let it go and after that is felt like a burden was lifted mm -hmm. lifted off of me you yeah, and know? I think I think being able to say I'm sorry like we were saying earlier and please forgive me it's a big part. It's a big part of it. It's not always for us to have to have somebody, you know, um, the reverse. You know how we are saying to to forgive them. Right. But for us, it's important to let just let things go. Mm -hmm. um, and because mm -hmm. the other person's gone on, like you said, about their business, and we're all stirred up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm noticing that being older, mm -hmm. a lot of things don't bother me as much as they used mm -hmm. to when I was younger and don't seem as big a deal or as important. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm feeling like maybe there's a, a like a belief system or a field or, um, you know, like there's this forgiveness that's already a part of me you know, that I've matured into mm -hmm. somehow right. because um, there doesn't seem to be as much to forgive anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like everything's that's okay. That's you. <laughs> this is okay. That's, that's it's what me. I was gonna say. When you just said that, I was saying that's that's growth and mm -hmm. like growth and maturity. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, even mm -hmm. when a person doesn't want to, you you want to be apologetic, but that person doesn't want to receive, or they mm -hmm. want they doesn't want to apologize to you. That you got to be kind of strong about that too, because I actually I have had come up against something like that. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, this person doesn't want to say anything. Okay, not just like okay. That like Michelle said, that's you, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm gonna let it go, and I'm gonna move on, because sometimes people are not on that same level. Right, right. Everybody's different. Yeah, right. everybody's on different levels, and you just have to just let it go mm -hmm. and, and let let release the anger, you know, and and forgive. Yeah. Well, I think what you said too about being older or more mature. I think we've gone through a lot of things in life and you begin mm -hmm. to realize what is important and what's not important. You right. Know, and you let things go easier. Just like grandparents, we're mm -hmm. more patient with our grandkids. Oh, it's exactly. <laughs> Tell that the truth. It's your kids, you be like, ah! <laughs> you know, so I, did, I think you hit it right on there by, you know, because you just learned that, okay, this is not that important. You know, it's not, right. you, you know. That's true. And you don't, tomorrow's not promised. So. No, it's not. Exactly, and that's that's one thing about young people. They figure that they're young, that you know, like people, they think tomorrow they're going to be here. Right. And, and and tomorrow's not promised to anybody. And we have we have to learn that you know you need to get yourself together now, because if you look at how things are going on in the world today, you can be 15, 14, right. one, two years old, and you can be out of here. Yeah. It's not necessarily that you're going to you know get to a ripe old age, 80 years old, and then you're going to pass on to the other side. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. And sometimes, like I said, let's say if a child is upset with the parents and you're not, they're not talking to them because of whatever unforgiveness in their heart, you have to realize if something was happening to that parent, exactly. you would die. Mm -hmm. You would be in the worst shape ever because you know like this person, now, your parent now left out of here and you, and, you, and you realize that the reason why you weren't talking was nonsense. Mm -hmm. And you didn't get a and chance. And how are to you going say, to get over it? I'm sorry, or please forgive me. Please forgive me. And can we just move on with this? You're you're my mother. You're my father. I love you, and that's all that counts. Whatever transpired between mm -hmm. us, let's just forget about it. Let's just move on because it's not it's not that because every time every day that you have with that loved one, it should be cherished. Because like you said, tomorrow is not mm -hmm. promised to you. So we have to learn how to move on and learn how to grow from that and not hold on to things. Because if you look at the end of the, if you sit back at the end of the day, it's not worth mm -hmm. it. It's, it just isn't worth it. So yeah. that's, that's pretty much about um, forgiveness. And I hope that what we have discussed, what Doris have discussed and what Michelle have discussed, what they have spoken about, that it has affected you today. And you, if you have unforgiveness in your heart, that you will go call that person, get in contact with that person, or even if you can't, Get that sheet of paper, write out all your feelings, and release it before something happens to you. Until next time, this is Tanya on In Your Face. Okay.